Welcome back to the Ball Don't Lie podcast. Yes, sir. We are back. And big time NBA news has gone down since the last time we saw you guys. I know this is primarily NBA podcast. We've been doing a lot of NFL stuff, but today we're back on our NBA grind. Yes. Damian Lillard is a Milwaukee Buck. That's insane. No way. What? <laughs> no way. In addition to a bunch of other things. I thought you were going to talk about Primo. Yeah, we'll get to him. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> Maybe not. He may not deserve He definitely, spot. he should be on the list for sure. Um, <laughs> on the list. Nah, he should be on the real one. Yeah. <laughs> he should be on the real list. Man. Let's break down this Bucks trade, though. Let's start off. I mean, there's a lot of moving pieces here. Let's start from the top. Let me break this trade down, and then we'll go into it piece by piece. First off, Bucks get Damian Lillard. The Blazers receive Drew Holiday, DeAndre Ayton, too many cameras, and a 2029 first round pick from the Bucks and a Bucks first round pick swap. The Suns get Yusuf Nurkic, Nasir Little, Keon Johnson, and Grayson Allen. That is the full trade as it is right now. And uh, let's you hop say, into who it. Who won the trade? Or should we talk about? The Let's talk list? about each each team respectively um, as we go. We'll start right. off with the you know the biggest uh, acquisition, Damian Lillard to the Bucks. Who want who want to go off on I this? I can start this one. I think <laughs> now I think uh, Milwaukee is favored to win easily. They just literally swapped uh, Drew Holiday for Damian Lillard. Yeah, so this guy's averaged thirty points last season. Arguably a top ten talent in the NBA, All NBA player, and you literally just upgraded and gave away practically nothing from from. For him, like the picks, picks wise, obviously Drew Har- Drew Holiday is a great defender, but I mean Damian Lillard is on a different stratosphere in terms of talent, and what that opens up the floor for you. You still have your bench pieces like Pat Connaughton. You will lose Grayson Allen, but he wasn't really the biggest piece for you to like win games. He was solid for them for a team though that lacks depth. Like yeah, but I mean kind of important. I feel like Damian Lillard covers the areas of Drew Holiday scoring and Grayson Allen no, yeah, scoring yeah, yeah, 100%, for him, yeah. so he covers that off. Now Giannis can like drive and kick it out to someone who can really be lethal from deep because sometimes you forget he can him and curry have like the deepest range in the league and where he shoots from is insane too he's a three level scorer like i don't see many teams beating the bucks in the east unless they trade for drew but right now i th- the bucks are favored to make the finals for me yeah i agree with you on a lot of the things you said i mean the offense is going to take a huge step up Giannis and Dame is, might be the best duo in the league. Do you guys think it is the best duo in the league, or is it no. too early to say? LeBron no. and AD exist. <laughs> okay. I still have Kevin Durant and Devin Booker. I mean, you got to put respect on Jokic and Murray, too, a little bit. No, I mean, I don't think Jok- Murray's an all They just won so. a championship. Off he, the, yeah, off I think the strength of Jokic, awesome. though. And Murray did help a lot. Murray, it's not like Murray's Michael a scrub, Michael. though. Yeah, like, yeah, he's not. He's all star level. He's not Booker or Damian, though. I mean, I he guess. did average 30 in the playoffs. Jokic like, is better. so much better than No, yeah, I'm giving context to the scenario. Jokic is not that much better than Giannis. Yeah, I guess they're on the same tier. They're Durant. on the same tier. I, I say he is that much better than KD, but I, maybe not Giannis. Yeah, no. he is that uh, much better than KD. KD's a step below. So it's like one Giannis, A, one B type and, of thing. So look here, in my opinion, Giannis and Jokic are like the top, and mm-hmm. then after that, like tier, it's like KD level. You know what I'm saying? That's how I view it. Yeah, like they're in two like, different. Tiers. Like they're in the two uh, different I levels. Think, you, do you, like, yeah, I understand what you're saying, but I think they're in the same tier, but do different things. N- I don't. I, I think Giannis I think that's and Jokic are in different tiers because yeah, like Jokic affects winning in more ways than KD does. Not saying K- – obviously, KD, KD does, does things yeah, elite ways sure. in scoring and all those things, but Jokic literally covers every aspect of the game better – I can well, see that. For the most part. Like, for Some people don't even have KD in their top five, so. Yeah, that's why I also – In terms I, of, like, Jamal Murray, health it's too. like – when it comes to the duos, like, if you take, the, like, the top five duos, Jamal Murray is still the worst player – in that in duo. Those top five duos. Yeah, Jaylen Brown you know and Jason I mean? Tatum. He's not. Yeah, you know what I mean, like yeah. if you put Jamal their, the I would take Jokic and t- and Murray over Tatum. Because you got Jokic. Yeah, you know, you no, got to understand yeah, Murray. That's no, but you got to give respect to Murray. He's not that bad that it's like, oh, it's just Jokic and a fucking bench player. You got to give Jokic respect to Murray too. Level I mean, <laughs> Dude, Murray averaged. <laughs> bro, we're not gonna forget Murray averaged thirty in the playoffs. Only Isaac thinks that. Only Isaac thinks. Like, okay, Murray averaged eighteen in the regular season. Oh no. You can you can swap like Murray with Tyler Hero and like hell no. What Tyler Hero's not averaging thirty in the playoffs. Same type of Scoring he's everything. not the same type bro, of scoring. Bro, he made it to the bro, finals. Bro, you're not averaging 30 in the he playoffs. Do any, he didn't play in the playoffs. But it's I'm talking like, about the bubble finals. It's when we talk that about was not because of him. 20 years old, that was because of That was because of Jimmy. Jimmy's skill set's kind team, of similar. It's That's also the team, too. Like, when we talk about duos, like, if we're just taking the duo, like, if we say go play two-on-two, two, it's just like, like I said, Murray's the worst player yeah, in the top. He'll get he's not bad, though. He'll still get worked, players of those five duos. But, like, he's not he's not bad, but he's not, like... Yeah, you're making that all-around player as like someone like. Players. I mean, Jalen Brown's not an all-around player, but I don't Jaylen think Brown's the the, the gap Murray. from Brown to Murray's like that big though. 
I it's not it that is. big. I feel like, like the ba- the gap big, between but... Jokic and Tatum is bigger to me. Yeah. Well, so yeah, Jokic is well, Jokic right. is yeah. like otherworldly. No, type of where do you put two Tatum? Two. Where do you put Tatum in your top ten? He's in, He's in the top ten. But okay, so where's KD? He's in there too. Yeah. Is he after three? He's higher than Tatum. Yeah. Is KD outside the three? Yeah. Well, KD's number three for me, I'd say. And where's Tatum? I probably put KD at like six or five or something. And that's why I have KD too. I have, I have KD and Tatum around right, the same tier. We're not going to argue about this. Not that. But no, the reason I'm saying this, it's like, because like, we're talking about top five duo or like we're comparing duos. duos. Anyway. Where do you rank KD or Tatum or like Brown and Murray in like certain scenarios? It's going to matter where you rank the others because Hassan values KD very highly, in yeah. my opinion. We're not here to talk about KD. Exactly. We're, we're talking about Damian Lillard and Giannis. Can Damian we go Lillard back and Giannis. To this topic? Which is why I'm saying, I think, in my opinion, Damian Lillard and Giannis are the best duo in the league with that's a close a second. Question. To LeBron and AD, I think LeBron and AD cover a lot of bases in the same way Giannis gotta, and Giannis and Lillard cover a lot of bases on their teams. And I think those two teams in their each conferences have the highest chance of making it to the finals, in my opinion. The reason I don't have like LeBron and AD up there is because of health. Like LeBron's old, and AD has them like. So you can't have KD and Book up there. Didn't Lillard have a surgery well, that was out for like forty games KD or something? Book plays a lot though, but KD doesn't. But I mean, he plays enough for them to have a yeah, higher. See. Scale for me. And then you, I mean, you can't. Uh, AD and Braun both play more than KD, so it's like. But Book plays more than both of them. So. Not last season. He was he was injured. He had he missed. A well, long we can have like a three year uh, span of the games, true. I guess. Yeah, it was one year. So I'll give. I'll give. I'll uh, they're just give moving okay, the goalposts, bro. Fully healthy. No, fully I healthy. Think, I still I'll think Lakers and or KD and Book. The better duo. Can't do it. You gotta really. Roll so do you think AD's better than Book? <sighs> I don't. I don't know about better, but I feel like he's more important. Like to his team, it's more valuable, way, more valuable. Thing, they're both you know, very pretty valuable, though. Huh? Like if, I said they're both really valuable. Yeah, but to it's their like team. I feel like if you take AD off the Lakers, the team drops off more than if you take Book off the Suns. Oh, but based off skill set, I yeah. guess what's necessary for the and, team and, and defensive impact. How right? like, team yeah. success? Yeah, team success. Because like AD, so we're, we're basing duels off of that then team importance. Because that's what I was saying. Like, is it like a team thing? Because duos alone are going to be different than duos with the rest of their team. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? Because like, you have to add Beal into that That's the only too. reason I, I say, like, Murray's the worst out of those. Like, obviously, yeah, their team won the shit. Thing. But then we got to consider but Luka and Kyrie, because their team sucks, but they're elite. They're, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but they can't play defense, though. So, so they got to be up there, though. Guys out there. But they're Luka and Kyrie. You, you take in Luka and Kyrie or Tatum and Brown? I want Luke. Take Luke and I want Luca and Kyrie, Kyrie but the, for different reasons. Kyrie's I get what you're better saying, than Jalen Brown, Luca, yeah, Tatum. Like you could go. I see Luca still better. Yeah, than Tatum. but they don't. So in my, I pick Luca. Don't get Washington two v two. It's a two way. It is two way thing. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. AD like he makes such a huge impact, but that's also why I think it's insane that Dame and uh, and Giannis are together now. Cause, yeah, I mean, if you want to do Giannis is defensive. Insane yeah, at, yeah. at all times, but they still have Brooke Lopez down there. Defensively yeah, they still too, got Brooke. They still got um, Bobby off the bench. Middleton, Middleton has a third option. Like a yeah, let's get back. Let's get back to this trade. So, yeah. looking at it for the Bucks' perspective, me personally, obviously they lose the perimeter defense and Drew Holiday, but now Chris Middleton, the guy who you had to go to in clutch situations in the past, now he's the second guy. Now Dame's the guy you yeah, go to. <laughs> Chris Middleton just needs to get buckets here and there. <laughs> that Dame, even Giannis, like, that's yeah. such a huge. Like, a huge like, Giannis doesn't even have to like think about taking the last shot. Like just yeah. give it to yeah, Dame. Yeah, he knows like, who's going yeah. to. It's not <laughs> it like, like you know Middleton no was in and out with injury and yeah, like no. you could never <laughs> trust him because he was never the guy. No more Batman and Robin narratives. Like Dame's getting the ball. Final two minutes, give him, let him work. You know. Yeah. So. And then, this is Batman like and Superman said, level. Yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> like you said, though, uh, they still got Brooke Lopez. So even though they lost Drew Holiday, their best perimeter defender, you know, you got the two interior defenders, so it kind of cancels out. Yeah. And the, the game plan is probably going to be, like, make everyone go to the rim, Funnel chase it. people yeah. off the three-point line. Fleeced for real. I yeah. You think um, so, though? The Bucks? The yeah. Bucks did. The I Bucks think they did. did. Yeah, I think yeah, Bucks yeah, fleeced. fleeced. One pick and a yeah. swap for Dame? Well, you got to think about, like, the season's almost happening. The Miami thing was... We'll talk about the Miami, yeah, like Pat Riley no. and everything, but yeah, we'll what else Miami. is you can't keep them? I'm saying for the Bucks for what they gave up is a fleece. I'm not saying yeah, that the yeah. Trailblazers had. I understand a bad your deal. perspective of, of a fleece, but that's the best that they're the Trailblazers are going to. But like get, I right? said, I didn't I didn't say that the Trailblazers got a bad package. Oh. I said they fleeced considering what they gave up. Like they didn't give up a whole lot. Yeah, they gave up Drew and they got Grace a bargain. Nally. They got a bargain. <laughs> you know, they like, yeah, yeah, they did picks. get a bargain. Yeah, they did. Yeah, I love this deal. Not to say that what Trailblazers got. I actually love what the Trailblazers got. We'll get into that in a second. But for the Bucks. Please yeah, say. I mean, you're upgrading clearly on offense. The defense, you're a defensive-minded team. Let's not forget, they got a new head coach, too. Um, what's his name? Uh, oh, the did Adrian Griffin. Budenhauser. Yeah, Adrian Griffin. So, I hate that coach, bro. Yeah, well, he, he got a lot to work yeah, with, so <laughs> he got a good system. You know, he got to implement a good system to get Dame and Giannis. The pick and roll is going to be nasty. Nasty oh pick and God, roll. Because you either got to step up on Dame <laughs> or allow Giannis one-on-one roll to the basket. Which Dame's is, not that big of a, like, a lob 
thrower, huh? He doesn't I'm matter. Curious. He'll take the three. If I'm just curious. You know, so. uh, lob thrower. To be honest, he might. Be. I mean, now he, he was. He kind of. Giannis and Nurkic are very different yeah, beings. Yeah, right. I'm gonna tell you right now. Who else he had to throw it to? Lance? Like he's gonna throw it to Larry Nance? You some Nurkic? Drew Eubanks? Oh God! You just throw it up there. You good, bro? Come on, man. Uh, yeah, but 13 feet in the air, he got it. Yeah. Yeah, Bucks definitely going to be, I think they're the favorites in the East easily. And then, you know, maybe even the whole league, to be honest, but definitely in the East, I think yeah. they got the upper hand. So, uh, man, back to your pick and roll point. Like, you can do it from half court and it's like a threat. <laughs> yeah. Shoot it from there. Or you, can like, pass. So you have to think about it. And, that. dude, even if you help, if you help Middle, off Middleton from the corner, then Middleton has an open three. Like, like even, yeah, you know you what got, I'm saying? When they got to drive. Like, yeah, like, dude, like, Brooke like, had an open three. <laughs> and like, yeah, every, they all have, they all I, have shoots. Man, I'm so excited really to watch the next NBA season, yeah, bro. Yeah, really Not just for the trade, but the trade got me hyped, though. Yeah, in here. Because it came out of nowhere. You know what I said when this happened? I was like, finally. I was like, I was waiting. So We were all waiting so long for the Dame stuff to happen. And then when it got put on hold for a long time. I was time, not expecting Bucks, though. I was not expecting Bucks either. Did we did, did we ever say where you think we was would go? Chicago, Raptors. Toronto, and and. I remember Miami, I kept saying, I, I kept bringing it up because I was like, there's no way. I was like, what if he doesn't go to the Heat? I kept saying it during that. I was like, what if he doesn't go to the Heat? And then I think you were saying, or Bez, you were like, he's going to go to the Heat, Gabe. He's going to go to the Heat. Maybe me. But I was like, I was like, there, there's got to be a way where something might not happen, and it did. He went to the Bucks. I thought he maybe go to the Nets earlier, like way earlier oh, yeah. when it just started. Oh, with Mikel, with that Mikel yeah. scenario going on, would have been good too. But you know, yeah. Bucks is think? even better. With, yeah, yeah, I mean, he went, he actually went to a contender. Like most of the people, like how the Raptors were the front runner. The Chicago day too. Happened. It's just like if he would have went there, any of those teams, like he, they still wasn't gonna win. Like he would have been in the <laughs> same scenario, just a little bit better scenario. He got like the Heat. We were thinking, oh, that's a contender. He literally went to a better team than the Heat. Yeah, so like, he it's went like to even better. Like so, it's like that crazy. Jimmy thing would not happen with Dame on the the roster from last year in the first round. If Dame was playing instead of Drew Holiday, I don't think Jimmy's dropping like fifty oh, and no, making no. it to the second round. Well, I don't, I don't well, know I mean, about that. Me personally, he might drop fifty, but they, they might not make it. No. Yeah, we don't know. Uh, what do you think? Gotta, I said what I thought. Yeah, I like this trade play. a lot. I'm very happy for the Bucks. I am a Giannis fan. I'm a Lillard fan. I'm glad Final they're contenders. Of course, sure. <laughs> yeah, bro. Of course, yeah, right. I, I don't know. If, like, yeah, gotta, I, I look, mean, make it, bro. When I when this happened, me like should be the favorite. My, my brother, we DM'd each other right away. We're like, bro, final. Like we already said, <laughs> we're like, we're like, are they already there? Yeah. I mean, we we're talking about like Celtics, but well, I want like I don't think we're gonna talk they about have, that right the now. The Celtics probably have the best chance. The second best chance, in my opinion, because getting Porzingis will help them with the. I think they should try to get Drew. Trade like Malcolm. They're rumored. I mean, that's Hopefully. who you have to give up. But who picks. wants Malcolm? A lot of teams are rumored to get Drew, and one of them is the Heat, which we'll talk about later. But that'll yeah. be a good plan B for them, considering what happened. But oh, 